sir shall we start yeah yes okay so a very good afternoon to all eminent speaker here a uh, respected uh, deshmukh sir respected dahikar sir swaranjit sir and uh, prakash halami sir and all my dear teachers most commonly my teachers is all there and behalf of the microbiology society india and school of applied sciences and technology gujarat technological university ahmedabad i welcome you all of you here to this uh, wonderful session today most respectfully i would to know your uh, your time <coughs> for that our school of applied sciences and technology we started just 2 to 3 years back this school at a very prestigious university that is the gujarat technological university and we now started the program of uh, biotechnology and industrial biotechnology marine biotechnology and now we will start the integrated program and phd program so this with a small introduction of our school today in this program the major focus on the international conference travel grants and basically how to apply and attain so in this program this program is jointly organized by mbbci and gtu so in this program we have a very eminent speaker that is dr s b dahikar sir so i'm going to start with the introduction of first dahikar sir and then we will start the program so dr s b dahikar sir is msc phd in microbiology and currently he is working as a principal at sanjivani arts commerce and science college kopargao ahmednagar he having the more than 16 years of research and teaching experience he is actively involved in ayurvedic herbal medicine and bacterial infections and biomaterials also he has nearly published more than 34 international and national publication in reputed journals he has presented his work in various national and international conference at germany netherland switzerland france belgium spain italy and dubai so he is a basically an international scientist we can say then he is award honored with the earlier career scientist award then he is honored with the young scientist award at dubai then excellence in research for ayurvedic microbiology then excellence in education and research award new delhi then excellent contribution in the field of academics award confirmed in dehradun then ministry of health and family welfare and he is a active member of the prestigious society is a biotech research society of india association of microbiology society of india microbiology society of india then society for applied microbiology london he is a registered guide of very prestigious and renowned university known as the pune university in marathi it is known as the maher ghar for education maher ghar shikshanachi maher ghar asu matle jate tela he is a savitribai phule pune university then he is the executive editor of international journal of microbiology research editor chief of international journal of biotechnology and microbiology then editor in chief of editor and chief of journal of biotechnology and biosciences advisory board member of international journal of microbiology research then a journal of microbiology and biotechnology apart from this he is actively involved in organizing so many workshops conference and actively participant of our prestigious microbiology society so i request a very renowned and it is the best fit for the today's topic how to get the international grants because he have in the vast knowledge in this area so with this and the permission with the chair i request uh, dahikar sir to start his session dahikar sir please yes sir yes <coughs> uh thank you sir ashish sir for such a nice introduction but i am not a international scientist 
I'm a teacher no, in a your profile suggests knowledge your but profile I have, is recommended yes, i have little of knowledge to whatever i have i have to just spread among the society and uh, thanks to uh, dr arvind deshmukh sir as the president of micro society of india has given me a opportunity to share my knowledge for the budding microbiologists throughout the india and uh, uh, really it's a, a good moment for me because uh, so many lectures i organized and i participated i attended but uh, just uh, last uh, one month uh, before when uh, dr arvind deshmukh sir has asked me you have travel uh, so many countries why you are not going giving a knowledge to the uh, our uh, students or our other teacher sir then i said sir definitely i will i am ready any time and uh, the day uh, today i am in front of you i have whatever knowledge uh, i will share you so how can we avail the grants for the international conference uh, sir uh, can i share my ppt uh make me a host so yes sir please 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 sir yes uh can you see ppt can you see my ppt yes sir yes sir yeah, yeah. fine please go ahead fine sir yeah so uh there is so many questions in our mind ki uh, how can we avail the international uh, funds for travel and uh, how can we plan it how can we apply it and uh, if you got a fellowship or the travel fellowship then how can we uh, proceed it so, so many question is there but before that we can go step by step uh, international conference travel grants when to start that is called as a time is everything time is most important thing so we should know ki how much before we have to apply for the that uh, uh, financial uh, uh, assistant so if you are planning to attend the conference uh, it should be a uh, it must be planned at least 4 to 6 month before that is if you are planning to attend the conference in the june or july then you have to start in the january so because why since most of us never went outside the country it's required us lots of coordination also so we need to understand what is the uh, procedure to enter in the country what is the procedure to apply for visa so many things are there so before 6 months we have to plan to avoid to um, participate in, in the international conference as well as be prepared for the uh, or be ready for the financial assistance so the three things most important if you want to uh, travel abroad for the any uh, international conference seminars workshops or any scientific meetings the most important thing is that the patience and perseverance is most important because it is not happen you have apply for one month before and the government will be you not it you have to be a patience then second passport that is most important things if you want to travel outside out of country then you must have a passport and another important thing is that the money yes you have a money because what why ki most of the most of the agencies or the government non government agencies they give approval to you for travel from one country to another country but you have to how to spend the amount first and then you can claim to the particular agency so the enough money you must have then so another uh, questions in your mind who will fund my trips mujhe paisa kaun dega that is most important thing ki paisa kahan se aayega this is the most crucial part of the trip there are a lot of agencies that are offering a travel funds some of them are listed below uh, i have mentioned some uh, agencies uh, maybe some uh, teachers are also there some uh, professor associate professor also uh, present in this session they may know about this one i mean, again uh, I introduce the agencies in india for those who can give you a uh, funds for the international travels so the most uh, that is first is the uh, department of science and technology there's a dst which is in delhi and the dst is giving a very good fund for the international travel so the what funds is cover basically the government of india under the government of the dst department of science and technology can give you a year fare visa fees and the registration fees and it is up to the 1 lakh rupees you know and what is the eligibility at least two papers in international journal but it must be a ucs care or the scopa journal or the web of science journal is considered and how the payment will get transfer so that is the online payment may be get transfer or uh, uh, the check the uh, ministry maybe send you a check 
and this process may be take a uh, six to uh, twelve months also. So, was it the exact uh, eligibility for the to avail the uh, funds for the DST? So, applicant should be an active Indian researcher engaged in R and D work in a recognized academic institution or research laboratories in India. So, any organization in India, it may be a private or the government or the research laboratory in India, who is working actively working in the R and D. Research and development in, in any sector, any uh, uh, science background, any background, he is eligible to apply. The applicant should have a invitation for presenting an original scientific paper. That is most important thing. So before that, we have to identify the places or events where the particular conference is going to be held, and you have to send the abstract to them. Then you must have a invitation from them. Yes, your paper has been accepted. And you can present the paper on this date. That clear cut letter is ex uh, uh, expecting from the ministry. And similar, invitation is required in case of the young scientists attending the training program, such as short term courses, summer or winter school or workshop. Then again, the applicant. Uh, my slides is moving, na, sir. Yes, it is moving. Yeah, the applicant should not. Have availed a financial assistance under this scheme during the last three years. Yeah, that is most important. The last three years back, you should not avail any grants for this conference. Means what? We'll get a fund for this conference after three years, after UD three years. Now, so that is most important thing. The scientific event should be of an international characters. Invitations of personal nature, such as carrying out the postdoctoral work, informal training programs, courses, internship, observership, etc., will not be eligible for the support. This fund is uh, specially given by the particular agency for presentation of your research work to the conference. It, presentation, it may be an oral presentation or it may be a, a poster presentation in the conference. Then, Applicant must have obtained a master degree in science or bachelor degree in a professional courses from a recognized university by the time of the submission of the application. That is most important thing. You must have a bachelor degree, master degree, or that is better if you complete PhD. That is a plus point for your application. The nature of support. What is the nature of support basically? This scheme provides to a pro economics, to and fro economics class airfare by the shortest route airport tax and visa fees for attending the specific event. Registration fees as per the actual rupees, one lakh rupees uh, is, is considered, which is uh, is less will be provided to the young scientist. Young scientist means age below 35 is considered. In addition to the above support, that is, the support is provided on reimbursement basis as per the actual expenditure incurred by the applicant within the guidelines of this scheme. However, taxi fare will not be reimbursed. So only fare, what is considered, what cover in the uh, uh, fellowship, only the airfare, visa fees, and the registration fees of the conference. And uh, this is about the DST, Department of Science and Technology. Now the Department of Science and Technology, they have one uh, separate uh, entity that is the Science and Engineering Research Board, SCRB, and you can apply uh, online in online mode to the uh, DST for uh, to avail the financial assistance for the international conference. Then another is the CSIR is Delhi. So CSIR is a Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. This agency of Government of India is also providing you a uh, international travel fellowship and approximately it, it may be also fifty thousand or sometimes maybe one lakh rupees. So they have some uh, limitation, but the DST is more better than the CSR. And the eligibility is same as the DST. You have a good publication, research paper publication. You should have a invitation from the uh, organa, organizer or the conference secretary. That is most important thing. So then if you focus on the uh, some little bit changes may be there in the CSR and the DST uh, criteria. So the eligibility in case of the CSR, uh, the eligibility should be an active young Indian researcher, same, it will be PhD, student, research associate, residents and doctor, etc. And emeritus scientist, other than non-regular researcher engaged in the research and development, 
they can also apply for travel fellowship to the CSIR. Minimum education qualification should be a postgraduate or bachelor degree as per the uh, DST. It may be in engineering, maybe technology, medicine, or equivalent qualification from the recognized university or institution. The applicant should not avail a financial assistance for travel support from CSIR in the last three years. This requirement, this condition is applicable for the every government organization. It may be a DST, it may be a DBT, it may be a CSIR, or it may be an ICMR. Same. Then applicant should have published at least a uh, few papers. Some uh, now they are uh, asking for the at least five papers in a referred journal, or it may be a Scopus journal, or a web of science journal. The applicant should have an accepted paper for presentation. That is the invitation is required. Then application form must have a CSIR HRDC at least two months, two or three months. Uh, they are asking before uh, two uh, months you have to apply to the CSIR or the or DST. And this application, then it will be get accepted. Any incomplete application or late application may not be considered by the CSIR or the DST. Then application must be signed by the candidate and by duly authorized signature at the academic institutions where the applicants is working. So any organization, if you are working as a teacher, as assistant professor, associate professor, or professor, or even though if you are working as a, uh, if you registered as a PhD student, you can also apply for the conference. But before that, you have to take an endorsement by your head of the institute or head of the organization. The candidate is expected to attend the entire conference event. Yes, he has not to be uh, leave the conference if the conference uh, schedule is four to five days. In that cases, you have to fully attend the conference for four to five days, not one or two days. That is a mandatory uh, conditions of each and every organization. Organization. In case the grant is sanctioned, the journey should be strictly performed by the shortest shortest route in acceleration economy class and international travel can be made by private airlines. Ticket must be purchased by utilizing the service of government authorized travel agents. Only, for example, uh, Ms. Uh, Belmar Levis and company, Ashok Travels and Tours, IRCTC, as per. So, basic criteria is that key, you have to purchase the tickets from the government authorized agency. So, these are the some government authorized agency. But uh, another condition is key, you can uh, book a ticket, uh, atra.com, makemyticket.com. But the condition is that you must buy your ticket from the Air India. That is the uh, must. Uh, 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 important conditions of the agency. And if the no any flights is available by Air India, then you can apply for the Ministry of Civil Aviation. And you have to show them the proof that no any flights are available, then can then you have to make them a request. Can I travel from the or another flight rather than Air India to reach the particular destination in the particular country? So that is the conditions of uh, some conditions of uh, a DST and a CSIR. Then what documents are required? What documents to be submitted for the pre-sanction stage? Basically, summary sheet is there. It is available on the website of the CSIR, then DST and the DBT also. You have to just fill the form. Then you have to attach the letter of acceptance or invitation from the organizer. Then another NOC, permission from the institute, that is called as the endorsement letter by your head of organization for the particular duration. Stuart stay, uh, stay abroad. Then copy of brochures, announcement of the conference, seminar, symposia, workshop. Whatever the brochures is available on a website, you have to download it, make a print out it and attach to your application form. Astrog of the paper accepted for presentation with details and affiliation of the all co-authors, if any. That is most important. You need an acceptance letter as well as abstract of the paper, which the paper you are going to present in the at conference, either it may be oral or it may be a poster presentation. In case the applicant is not the lead author, a certificate from the lead author indicating the circumstances of deputing the applicant to present the paper. Yeah, that is most important thing. If you have a two author and first author is unable to go there and present there, then you have to take a consent letter uh, or the lead author letter from there and you can present the paper. That is another thing. Then memos, estimate of the airfare by economy, 
uh, class by shortest route from government approved travel agent is most important. So whatever the memos or tickets or deals, it should be a by government approved travel agent is mandatory. Then a copy of letter regarding the commitment from any other national or international agency for any financial assistance, full or partial for travels, registration, per day, etc. if any. So that is also another mandatory requirement uh, as in the form of commitment from the other national and international agency. Then certificates from the applicant that he or she has not availed travel support from CSIR in last three years. That is the one, uh, what we can say, uh, one letter we have to uh, give in the written form to the particular agency. I have not taken uh, any kind of grant for the international travel in last three years. That is a mandatory uh, documents we have to submit to the particular uh, funding agency. Then submission of claims. So that is most important. I already talked with you. You, ha you must have a, enough money to travel abroad. You have to spend the whatever the travel expenditure is there. Then after coming back to India, you have to fill the claim sheet. You have to the claim sheet is available on the internet or website of the particular uh, agency, funding agency. You have to download it. You have to print out it and attach all the documents, all the bills, all the airfares, registration fees, everything, and send to the an agency and within within a two month or sixty days, your travels will be a travel expenditure will be get reimbursed. And if it is more than two months, uh, more than two months may be required if any uh, shortage of documents if there. You know? So how can we connect them? All communications may be addressed to the in case of the CSR in charge uh, symposium and travel uh, grants unit. CSR Human Resource Development Group, that is the address of the uh, CSR uh, funding agency in Delhi. You can approach to them. Then the some declaration and the results, how the how can we know key when uh, either I will get selected or not? So every uh, agency will display the list of the uh, or the uh, list of or the uh, recommended uh, list of the candidate on their website. You have to daily check it. Either my name is uh, uh, listed in the list or not. Otherwise, they can also send you a email to you for the acceptance or what the selection uh, for the particular travel fellowship to you for your registered email ID. So the email ID should be correct and you have to regularly check it. So that is the most important uh, thing in case of the CSIR. Then so we uh, discussed the uh, DST, what is the eligibility for the DST, what is the eligibility for the uh, CSIR. Now, the Department of Biotechnology. So as we are the people from the microbiology, biochemistry, and the biology science, and Department of Biotechnology also give you international travel funds to travel abroad for the international conference, seminar, workshop, or any scientific meeting. So this is a website of the uh, DBT, CTP. Uh, the little bit procedure is different as compared to the DST and the CSIR. So, and the most important thing for the DBT is that DBT can give you a fellowship for organization of the conference, to, for the participation in the conference, and also for the exhibition and popular lectures organization at your institute. So, DBT, so what is the procedure to apply uh, to the DBT for the international? Fellowship, international travel fellowship for the conference. What is it? so? You have to you must register on the DBT CTP website. You should have a uh, uh, your your organization should be registered. After uh, registration, you to you must be uh, upload your um, a memorandum of articles or a memorandum of association. Then the last three years uh, income tax audits, the audited statements, then bylaws your society uh, or the trust registration documents, everything that has to be uploaded on the DBT CTP website. Then the uh, authorized person of the DBT uh, person will be verify your documents and they will enroll you as an organization on their portal. Then after that, you can apply for the uh, fellowship or the funding uh, assistant to the DBT. So that is the one another procedure 
for the application of the funding to the dbt or dbt ctp then what is the eligibility for the application to the dbt the applicant should be a active scientist definitely researcher then the engage in the research and development and promotion of the biotechnology that is most important thing the scientists below age of 50 years would be accorded preference yeah below 50 they will give a preference uh, there are two categories basically the young scientist and the senior scientist below 35 year you will be considered as the young scientist and after above 35 years or it may be 40 45 you will be considered as the senior scientist so the both the person young scientist as well as senior scientist you are eligible to apply for the uh, so international fellowship international travel fellowship minimum educational qualification should be a postgraduate as per the ds and csr right bachelor degree in engineering technology equipment qualification or even the pharmacy also the investigator or the co investigator of dbd sponsored project programs chairman expert members of various task force biotechnology research promotion committee or the sec scientific advisory committee of dbt are also eligible to apply that is another benefits of the dbt senior scientists faculty working in a pay band working in a pay band would be provided travel support only if they have a oral presentation that is a one condition so they have to provide the oral oral presentation uh, invitation then scientists should not have a available financial assistance for travel support from government in the last three financial year that is another con condition similarly for dst csr and other organization then scientists should have a accepted paper for presentation as a single or lead author if you are not a lead author then you have to produce the cancel letter of your the from your main author as a lead author that is another condition of the dbt city application submitted online yeah this is a very good uh, facility of dbt you can apply online so application submitted online only will be considered proposal submitted physically or hard copy will not be accepted you know? so the dbt and dst they give a preference to the online application no hard copy has to be submitted only in case of the csir you have to take a print out of the each and every documents and send them by the post that is in case of the what the csir only then more than two application from the same organization may not be entertained in the same period in a one year two application from the same organization will not be get entertained the final discretion on the same would be taken by the committee based committee based on the quality of the proposal so that is the conditions or the guidelines of the dbt for the international conference uh, assistant then what is the guidelines another guideline same guidelines as per the another organization like the uh, in case of all the air uh, air travels where the government of india bears the cost of air passage air tickets shall be purchased from the three authorized travel agent that is the balmore lavries ashok travels or the iratc if the tickets are not purchased from the above sanction authority the travel grants will be restricted to the following slab now the slabs will begin another america if you want to travel for for america australia canada south africa then the full tickets that is the 6000 up to 6000 they can give you then if you want to travel for europe china and russia then the limit is 40000 and if in the south asian country the limit is 30000 in case of unavoidable circumstances where the booking of ticket is done from an unauthorized travel agent or website the financial advisor of the ministry department and head of the department no below the rank of joint secretary in subordinate attached officers are authorized to grant the relaxation and if you purchase the ticket from the any other unauthorized agency then you have to take a authorization letter for the grant for relaxation that is one facility of the uh, dbt then this is the website of the dbt www.dbtctep.gov.in slash static travel guidelines.htm this is the website of the 
dbt then rather than this uh, dbt csir and dst some another organization of government that is the government of india also give you a travel support for attend for attending or or participation of the international conference one of the another is indian science institute of science india indian institute of science they also uh, give you a travel uh, fellowship you have to just visit the website same conditions are there uh, you must have a post graduate you must have a bachelor degree in any discipline your paper must be accepted you must have a invitation letter i uh, uh, like the as per the guidelines then tata trust is there so rather than the government organization the non government organization that is ngo like tata trust you can also apply for the fellowship or the travel support from the uh, tata trust they can also give you a near about uh, 50000 rupees travel support for attending the international conference workshop or seminar then another is the this is the icmr indian council of medical research the financial support to attend the international conference seminar symposia workshop from senior and young non icmr biomedical scientists or researcher non icmr biomedical that is most important thing means it indicate ki non icmr means the person from person having a background of biotechnology pharmacy or uh, microbiology or any other life sciences they can apply for this fellowship but the selection is only based on the, the topic or the talk or the paper which is accepted by in the conference it should be relevant to the medical council medical related paper must you have to uh, present in the particular conference then you know, what are the requirements uh, for the icmr or guidelines for the icmr is that uh, you must uh, submit the uh, 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 application in a proper format as per the prescribed by the icmr guidelines uh, cv should be a uh, one pages the research publication index in the pubmed sci or the sci during the last five years to be submitted only the front page of the technical program of the conference seminar workshop or symposia to be enclosed along with the accepted letter and copy of the research paper extract then the air tickets may uh, be dr daigar sir dr daigar sir yes sir there is a request that uh, make a ppt on full more uh, okay okay sir okay so i will try sir uh, just a minute sir yeah thank you thank you yeah yes sir so this is the uh, about the application uh, uh, how to apply application guidelines by the icmr the research publication uh, should be in a pubmed or a scopus journal and the year tickets must be a book from the government authorized agency uh, as per the, uh, as per the government guidelines and ensure that the conference is not a predatory one then again another is that the application submitted late that is not before 2 months from the date of conference will not be considered by the icmr means the minimum period to apply for the con uh, apply for the financial support to attend in the international conference is before 2 or 3 months for the every agency then another organization that is the national board for higher mathematics that is another one So rather than DST, CSIR, ICMR, or any other NGO like uh, uh, Tata Trust, this is the particular for subject that is mathematics. This uh, also this uh, agency is also of government of India, and you can also apply for the travel fellowship to the NBHM this uh, agency. Then another is the sir, sir yes, just sir. one question. this yes. mathematics related does they provide for the research in mathematics or they provide for the life sciences also uh sir uh the uh, dst uh, dst csr also provide for the mathematics also 
they have a this one, sir, this one national board of higher mathematics this I is only for mathematics for them this is only for mathematics yeah this is only for mathematics for right? mathematics yes yes okay sir then the indian national academy of engineering bharatiya rashtriya abhiyantrik academy that is the aict nai travel grant also but this grant is only applicable or uh, uh, applicable for the people who are work, working in a technical um, a field like uh, btech or engineering so uh, that, that that people can apply uh, through the uh, this as it uh, for the financial assistance as it is there then the national institute of science education and research this is applicable for the everyone a science it may be a mathematic it may be a engineering it may be a pharma it may be a medical anyone can apply to the uh, fellowship through the national institute of science and education and because this is also the uh, autonomous body of the government of india and the funding also come to the dst also so the dpd is also connected with the ni se uh, r dst also connected icm is also connected you can apply for that then i also talk with the another organization like uh, international brain research organization this also can give you a fellowship but your research should be uh, relevant to the uh, brain research organization so that is a uh, important conditions then uh, this is also the indian council of historical research so the the piece, person if uh, working on a history like subject they can approach to the uh, this organization uh, that is the indian council of historical research then uh, these are the all uh, whatever we discuss the government uh, organization and the non governmental organization in india uh, to which we can apply for the financial assistance but one uh, another organization like as you know we all people are microbiology and biotechnology background so asm uh, microbes this conference is going to be held in houston in america in june 15 19 2023 so if your paper is accepted then the asm micro that is the association uh, sorry american society for microbiology can also give a travel fund to for the participation as well as the presentation of the your research paper in the international conference so asm is also good platform for you people ki you can apply and you can avail the fellowship then fems is there as you know people fems is also um, federation of uh, uh, european micro society this is also uh, give a grants and awards uh, for the budding microbiologists budding scientists uh who are coming to present their paper in the conference uh you can also apply uh, all the guidelines and the how to apply uh, already given on the website so i have taken a screenshot of the their uh, website uh, fems the, this conference is i, I think is hamburg in uh, in the month of july so you can also uh, apply for this uh, conference then the another organization in australia if you want to travel australia for attending the conference then the australian society of microbiology they can also give you so these are the some then another is the international union of microbiological societies so this is a very good uh, group of all the micro society in europe so you can also apply and all the informations also available on the website see i have already mentioned uh, in my uh, ppt so on in the home on the home page the travel grants this another uh, uh logos is there so you can click it on it and you will get a information how to apply and how can uh, proceed for the uh, travel assistance then the microbiology society this is also uh, in the uk if you want to travel in uk so the grants and prizes are there so you can apply for grants and prizes for the micro society then uh, again the applied microbiology international that is this is also part of the uh, society for applied microbiology so you can uh, also apply uh, for the grants especially travel grants to the applied international applied microbiology international this is organization in uk and another uh, provisions in our uh, state also uh, like uh, our uh, university of pune they are also ready to your travel grant if you want to present your paper in a international conference uh, our university savitribai phule university pune and similarly uh, mumbai university also give gujarat university 
Delhi University. You have to check the guidelines because I didn't study it. What is the exact guidelines of your university? You have to visit your university, uh, check the guidelines, and uh, if the prescribe, you have to apply in a prescribed format, and you can apply. So university also provide the international travel fellowship. So another uh, question is that ki, what is the procedure? So we have discussed ki, what is the eligibility, what is the guidelines, and how can you apply. So now the step by step, what you have to do first, find out the international conference or event in particular country. So first out, find out the which event is there, in which country the event is there, or in which country the conference is there. Find out the then send the abstract research paper for poster or oral presentation. You have to send the paper for the presentation. That is a poster or the oral. Then that organizer will give you a acceptance letter. That is called as the invitation letter. They will say that, yes, your paper is accepted for this conference. So as thought is this, this, this. And you can attend, you can participate in the uh, conference. So acceptance letter, that is after acceptance, apply for travel grants to the government organization like DST, DBT, ICMR, or any organization. So the acceptance of the paper is the most important. Then after acceptance there, then apply for the DST, then up in a prescribed format, attach all the documents required or they asking for you, submit to the agency. After approval from the government, they will give a letter through to your email or your name will be listed or available on their concern website. You have to find out your name. If your name is present and if you got an email from the uh, funding agency, then after that, you can apply for a visa. Then after visa, because visa takes at least two months. So, so I already talked with you, if you want to travel abroad, you have to plan before six months. Because why? The two to three months will be taken by the day to day and it may be one or two months maybe take by for the visa. That's the most important. <laughs> then after that, book and year tickets and hotels. After that, you can book our tickets. Don't book our tickets before visa or before approval of the government agency. If all the approved by the ministry, visa get approved, then you can go for the air tickets at the hotels. Then after that, after conference, you have to come back after conference, apply for the reimbursement as per the format. On a every funding agency, on their website portal, the claim sheet form is available in the form of PDF and a Word file. You have to download it, you have to fill it properly if it is in physical mode. Otherwise, you can upload all the documents by online mode. So that is the simple procedure to apply the apply to the funding agency for international travel grants. Then procedure to apply. How to procedure? Download the international conference travel grants form. Send it after uh, uh, <coughs> send it after attested by the guide head director along with the uh, all the prescribed <coughs> documents. The agency send you official communication that you can attend the symposia and they will provide the funds in future. Uh, the time is uh, taken for sending this communication varies. It may be a DST, CSR, ISMA, take to nearly four to six weeks from the data application. Check website and email for reserves. I already talked with you. Check emails, uh, your email and website regularly. You attend the conference. And upon returning, apply with the claim sheet and necessary attachment like bills, all the bills, ticket bills, registration slips, visa bills, everything. Remember, the funds is only provided for the three. One is the air tickets, visa application, and the registration fees. Don't attach any other documents, any other bills like the accommodation, only three things. They will send you a DD according to your claim. DST send the DD or online transfer in our uh, account, uh, in a bank account, along with the communication to you, whatever the communication is in between agency and you. Always scan all your documents starting from passport, fund page, visa tickets, bills, and have a soft copy with you. That is most important thing. Whenever you travel from India to any other countries, you must have a, all your documents scanned in a PDF form attached to your email or in a particular format. Yes. So going to abroad, yeah, that is most important thing. Yes, everything um, is uh, approved, sir. My paper is accepted. 
and the government also give approval to attend the conference my visa is also ready tickets are also uh, booked then the some uh, tricks we have to uh, uh, follow so what case always what are the tricks to travel abroad always carry passport and cash along with your uh, 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 along with other uh, important things and do not live in the hotel room that is most important thing never hand your passport to any unauthorized person except immigration officer at airport don't give a uh, don't hand over your passport to any other person if you are changing two or more flights from the different airlines then always make sure that the airlines counter that your baggage is checked in in many chances they may miss your baggage in transit airport and you will have to struggle for a day or two that is a, another uh, issues you may face then do not exchange foreign currency from airport or nearby places or any uh, agency basically you go to the any nationalized bank it may be a state bank of india hdfc bank or axis bank you will get a currency in a reasonable rate so that is one then better to carry a map of the city locality and the also routes yeah now you are carrying a mobile phones and everywhere is net is available you have to just locate the your destination uh, city where you want to go and just uh, do some uh, little bit study how can you go which bus you have to uh, take uh, by metro or by rain or by train so whatever so so you must uh, be do some little bit study uh, about uh, your destination place you can avoid the international roaming facility or mobile yes airtel vodafone most of the uh, uh, agencies uh, can be uh, provide you that kind of facility and if you are staying there for a longer time if 5 uh, to 6 days then you can carry such kind of sim card from india incoming will be free to you and it uh, it will be a local call tariff to the caller incoming as free but if you want to make a call then the charges may be there as per the that particular agency keep all original bills of expenses made during the travel that is most important thing then <coughs> during the visa how can you go for the visa check the websites and inquire with the visa issuing authority like embassy most of the cases like uh, uk you don't need to go for any other agency uh, you can go for directly to the embassy or in some cases uh, vps global is also uh, give us that that kind of facility for the visa application process so the on which visa you required it may be a student or a tourist visa or business visa whatever so the basically student visa is applicable for the uh, long term of education that is not applicable for the short term of conference better way you can apply for the tourist or the business visa so that is applicable for uh, travel uh, for the conference is required a travel insurance health insurance uh, certificate so that is most important thing travel insurance and the health certificates is mandatory uh, you have to be ready for that and also take a note of things not to be carried out into the country so this is the uh, airport authority have some uh, guidelines ki how can we travel and uh, which things we have we should not be carry that is most important then other on the flight and the airport what precaution we need to take most agency required you to travel only by air india flights that is a mandatory uh, guidelines of the all the government agency so you have to travel always by air india if air india is not available then you have to make a request to the ministry of civil aviation they will permit you so, so that is not an issue then another keep the toll free number of your airlines in emergency it may be a air india or any other airlines you can block your ticket with the travel agency without giving money ah if your paper is accepted and uh, you are waiting for the approval from the ministry then you have to block the ticket that is what good option for you you can block the ticket only if you confirm it then you have to pay the amount that is most important then always keep one set of dress in your hand bag yeah that is most important thing because what happened if the bag baggage is get miss you know then it will it takes one or two days so uh, you have to be ready with it key you should have carry a one another set of dress with your handbags then the 
uh, these are the some uh, precautions uh, while carrying a ba uh, baggage. Then the conference and symposium. So after, uh, if you enter into the country for the conference, the first one of one can request to conference organizer for a waiver in the ration fees, possible funding for air travel and lodging. So you can make a request to, as a partial waiver. Uh, mostly they will give a, one of these since they want to student participate and it is uh, one way of the encouraging carrying a laptop if you have one. Most conference venues and airports have a wireless internet facility or internet support. So you can easily access your emails, website, whatever. Also, you can make a short presentation if you are explaining your work to someone. Yeah, because that is most important thing. If you are going to the conference, so many researchers are there, so many people are there. So you have to make a presentation of your research. You have to just discuss with the person who are uh, in the conference. And that is our exchange of uh, your research idea, exchange of your uh, some other native idea. That is what good platform for you people. And another thing is key, better way to carry your CV, published papers, and visiting are also. You know? So that is the during the symposia uh, or the conference, you have to take a precaution. Then, yeah. So uh, this is the my how I avoid the uh, fellowship for the international travel in. Uh, 2013, I was applied for the Department of Science and Technology, DST, the Government of India, and I got uh, international travel uh, uh, grants for attending the international conference of Federation of European Microbiologist, which was in a Leipzig, Germany. And I visited Germany as well as Switzerland in 2013. Then I was uh, also visited. Uh, in a master that is Netherlands in 2015. And at that time, I got a fellowship from the uh, government of India, as well as the <coughs> early career scientist award by the sixth Congress of European Microbiologists. And I remember the amount was 500 uh, euro. Uh, it will be amount of 40 to 50,000 was there. So uh, the both the fellowship uh, from government of India and the Federation of Europe European Microbiologists as give me a, uh, that kind of uh, funds for the attending a conference. I was with my better, Dr. Sarita also there. She was also uh, got an early career scientist award uh, for the same conference. So I visited in the Netherlands, then the Belgium and uh, France also. Thereafter, uh, I was in uh, 2017 for the Federation of European Microbiologists uh, at that time, Dr. Sarita got a fellowship from the Department of Biotechnology for attending the FEMS conference. So I, we are uh, we participated in the, this FEMS conference in 2017, and we visited the Spain and Italy also. Thereafter, uh, in the last uh, before COVID in 19 to, uh, 2019, we was in a Scotland, uh, it is UK. And so I already talked with Key, you must ready with the presentation, your research paper, publication, and CV. It is a very, very good platform for you people who interact with the renowned scientists throughout the world. And uh, in this, I'm very happy to inform you that the person is uh, with me in the photo. He's the president of uh, Federation of European Microbiologists. And you know, the lady in between me and my wife, uh, doc, uh, scientist Pascal Coart. You just go on a Google uh, and find the uh, name. She's a renowned scientist working in a Pasteur Institute in Paris and see how a lot of innovations, the discoveries in the microbiology. Basically, she is working on the Listeria monosatogens. Uh, we was with our little uh, sons, uh, two kids. Uh, she just observed us and uh, she asked me from where country you are. I asked him from India. And she just appreciated the effort. Yes, you are you have a small kids, and even though having kids who are attending the conference, that is the most important thing. And uh, I can't imagine that she has uh, given us a 10 to 15 minutes, she discussing with me what your research, what is what kind of research you are doing. So they are very, very and liberal and good person. So that is a very good opportunity for you people to interact with the person from the world. So participation in the internal conference is very, very um, good for you. Then the, uh, I was in the Dubai 2019 in the same year. I got awarded by uh, some awards in the Dubai conference. Then the, I was also 
uh, in uh, Uttarakhand, uh, in Dehradun. I was awarded the excellent contribution in the field of academics. Then the, I was also, I am doing you know, research in Ayurveda, that is in the medicinal part of chemistry. Uh, I was awarded as a Ayurveda and Public Health Research Award as Kiki by the Minister of Health and Family Welfare. Uh, Dr. Atul Nasa and Dr. Ragovanshi, sir, is there, is the director of the Minister uh, <coughs> of Health and Family Welfare, New Delhi. Then this is the award that just I got in the uh, Goa for the iconic leadership in the higher education award. So this is little about my <laughs> journey as well, my knowledge, whatever I have I've presented. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask me and you can also contact with me. Uh, my contact number is given 9421804716 and my email is sbthehikar10 at gmail.com. So I hope uh, this session uh, is uh, a beneficial for the person who is willing to travel abroad for the international travels and definitely if you do a hard work and if you uh, patiently work on it you will be in a next conference in it may be in a canada it may be in a america it may be in a european countries so i am thanks to uh, dr ashish sir and dr arvind deshmukh sir giving me opportunity to present my knowledge in front of you all people thank you so much sir. Sir, first of all, I thank you to all, uh, to you basically because you presented your entire this travel grant with evidences, right? Hence, I called you the international scientist because you work hard, you publish your work, and present it in a country while getting the fellowship from the Indian as per as foreign agency also. So this lecture is a wonderful lecture. And definitely participant learn uh, so many things from you, uh -huh. how we can achieve this or uh, we can take this facility from the government of India as well as from the international agencies. Yes. So now this forum is open for the questions. So one of the participant asked the question which I am taking, sir, what yes. is the age limit? Okay, you uh, already explained, but if you tell, it will be better. Sir, uh, any uh, postgraduate student uh, till age of 15 can apply. Uh, there are two uh, uh, sections in the, if you want to uh, apply for travel, one is the uh, young scientist and another is the senior scientist. If, uh, if your age is below 35, then you can apply as a young scientist. And if your age is uh, above 35, then you can apply as a senior scientist. So up to age of 50 years, you can apply. And in some cases, as an emergent scientist, like uh, uh, immer immersive scientist uh, having an age of more than 50, they can also avail the uh, travel fellowship. Yes. Any more questions, please? I'll just tell about age. I want to tell about myself. You know, I was awarded the DBT Overseas Associateship. I went to Pennsylvania State University, Penn State. And they told me that 40 years is the age limit that time. It okay, was not 50, okay. but 40. Huh. So I was 39 plus that time. I was 39 plus. So I thought I will not get this fellowship. I felt very bad because that was the first time I applied for a fellowship postdoc. And there was one Dr. P.K. Ghosh. He was director of DBT that time in the year 1999. And I talked to Dr. Ghosh, P.K. Ghosh. Now he's my very good friend. That time he was my senior. And I told him, see, if I don't get this time, this associateship, then I will lose the chance to get this uh, DBT Overseas Fellowship. He was so good. He said, okay, you have not got fellowship. I said, no, never. This is my first time. So, You'll be so happy to know that I was awarded the DVT associateship just before I was 40 years of age. So I was very lucky and I went to Penn State. I worked with a very, very great man, Dr. G. M. Bholak. He's authority in bioremediation. So I published a very good review in bioremediation with Dr. Bholak. And, you know, that means you should not give up. You should not give up that, oh, I'm going to be 40. I will not get the fellowship. You should try till the last. Request the people who are 
authority and you will get the fellowship the next one was uh, insa fellowship i n s a that was to japan i went to osaka kobe and that time also there were so many difficulties for me but i kept on pursuing my application and i got the insa fellowship to kobe japan and i went to south japan which is a land of sulfur springs very hot water springs you know hot water and sulfur is oozing out sulfuric acid so i saw that there is no metal structure there no metal uh, pipelines no electric pole because the sulfuric acid is so strong it corrodes the metal so i had a chance to go to south japan and that island is known as kyushu island so i never gave up give up i went for two fellowships of government of india and of course i went to three or four conferences of dbt and dst to foreign countries in europe i also went to hawaii islands in the usa so my message is never give up keep on pursuing your case and surely you'll get the fellowship from the government or like dr dahikar said now there is one tata also tata private fellowship you should try for all those and uh, yes. it was excellent talk by dr dahikar many people have learned so many things they never knew thank you very much thank you sir thank you so much thank you yeah any more question please uh, yes sir uh thank you yeah. so much dr sir for a really informative uh, lecture definitely it will uh, help us for uh, in our future i have uh, one question actually uh, if we have a uh, you have uh, we have worked in a group and if we are uh, about to publish paper uh, like uh, two three members so is it possible to uh, go like all of us we can go and get the grant or no only one person can get the grant <coughs> only uh, one person only one person he should be a okay. first author or he should be a lead author okay. that is condition yes okay thank you okay. any more question please yeah thanks yeah any more question please uh, yes sir i have a question can yeah, i please. yes sir uh, myself, please 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 uh, thank you sir really elaborative uh, session and uh, myself dr arjun singh i am in the field of mathematics sir and uh, sir i would i had a raised a question in the chat box actually so is there any age limit for that because i am into oit university right now so most of the time we are into uh, teaching right so going for a paper is a tough, again means we have to work hard so though we have a paper with us right now i have two papers so can i go for that uh, i have a wish that i should go and present in international conference so how can i i just found that sir told nbhm national Uh, board of higher mathematics one is there and another tifr is there for tata is research institute so how to proceed i want to know suppose i have a paper right now and i want to proceed so how to connect that i want please sir this over to you yes sir <coughs> uh, dr arjun sir you have to first of all identify the event for which you, uh, event you want to publish your paper you have to send the paper to the that conference you have to wait wait for the acceptance of uh, of the or, from the organizer if you get a acceptance letter then you can apply for, uh, for the uh, apply to the funding agency like dsp D, uh, dst is applicable for to dpt is not if you, your work is related to the biotechnology then you can apply but i have already mentioned one uh, organization for the mathematics nbhm so that organization is very good and perfect for you so you can apply for that organization so after acceptance apply for the that agency particular agency then after approval then you can proceed for the visa and booking tickets and you can uh, attend the conference but you said uh, someone said that ki uh, age limit is there 50 year age is if uh, preferably uh, consider by the uh, by the all the uh, funding agency but if you, if your age is more than 50 years then the Uh, preference will be very less then you can apply for the another category that is the <laughs> mrd scientist or any other category but the two categories are mostly prefer one is the young scientist and another the senior scientist that is one sir 
Yeah. Any more question, please? You can unmute your mic and please ask. So I think there is a question already got that 57 years old. And we got the very good uh, feedback from the participants. I'm very, very thankful to all of them for giving you a valuable feedback also. Uh, Deshmukh sir is there? Yes, yes, I'm listening. Yes, sir. Sir, finally, we will take your remarks on this lecture. Yes, my remark sir, is that. Will you please? After listening the lecture of Dr. Daikar, <laughs> I'm coming to the conclusion. It is very easy to go abroad than to travel in India. Only you should have mind set up. Exactly. That is, the as Swarnaji Singh sir again reiterated the same thing. Never give up. So, it is a, so simple. Again, I will tell you, as Dr. Dahikar has told, three years gap is required for the application. Means I cannot apply DBT again, but I can apply after three years. Correct? For DST yes. also, I can apply after three years. Yes. But I can change the agency every year. Yes, exactly. That is very good. Yes, correct. Sir. correct. correct. And I did it. Yes, sir. I did the same thing, only I changed the agency for application. Exactly. <clears throat> and every university is having non-assigned grant given by UGC. Yes, sir. That is called as a non-assigned. Non-assigned meaning is that vice chancellor has to decide. Yes. And through non-assigned grant, you can get a travel assistance. So there are many, literally there are many, many, and even you can approach to the private industry also. They can also sponsor you if you have a good relation. I obtained the grants from sugar factories, many sugar factories. The reason is that sugar factories are the, for social work, they are having special grant. If you have a good relation, you can get a travel grant from such different private industries also. So literally, very good information by Dr. Daikar. And uh, all his words are preserved in YouTube. So these uh, YouTube is now, uh, I'm circulating for 2,000 students. So 2,000 students and two, uh, sorry, 20,000 students and 2,000 teachers will avail the benefit of today's lecture. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Sir, Thank with you so your much, permission, sir. sir, with your permission, just I want to share you one thing is that, sir, I recently joined this organization three months back. That is a School of Applied Sciences, Gujarat Technological University. For any scientist or any worker, if facing any problem related to research, sir, so we have the Atal Incubation Center here. For <laughs> entrepreneurship purpose or any idea they have to do the entrepreneurship or a business, they can do here, sir, in very minimal cost. Second one, sir, we have the very beautiful laboratory. We have the every instrument related to life sciences, sir. And we provided safe, sir, that is a sophisticated instrument facility. So those were not able to do the some kind of research or they have the idea, so they can contact us. And we will do the help for them. In collaborative project, in the MU process, we can do the so many things. Or directly they can come and they write, write a letter to director. We will very happy to help them. Apart from that, we are expertise in the bioinformatics, biotechnologies, and especially in my side for the virology. And we have the animal biotechnology, bacteriology. We have the at least 10 experts from diverse field. So we work together in this line also, sir. So those which are, I filed the so many messages, they don't have a, some research facility. Yes, we can do a collaboratively. So you will get a chance to do the foreign visit also and to present your work in international forum also. So 
with the chair, with the permission of chair, I thank to each and every one, and especially to the Dahikar sir for delivering the wonderful and the very helpful nature to my all dear participants. And finally, I export my vote of thanks special to Microbiology Society of India, who provide us this platform for all young scientists, senior scientists, and for our all students. So if you are any query, and Dahika sir, there are some parties of asking for the, your presentation, sir. If you available it on a, our, our website also, that will be great. Or you can send me the mail so I can forward to the participant also, sir. Sure. Yeah, but I, I will send you. Sir, this presentation will be available on the YouTube. Don't worry. YouTube, yes. Sir. Oh, that's great. That will be great. Yeah. And they will circulate. Again, in yeah, every yeah. group, we will circulate. Today's yeah, that YouTube. will be wonderful, sir. That will be wonderful. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.